So you want to start a business in 2021. Well, here's what you need to consider before you do. More so, consider when you want to start a merchandise business. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Mila B, and welcome back to another video. Y'all already know what the topic is, so without further ado, let's go and get into it. So you want to start a business, you want to start a merchandise business, and here are just some things you might need to consider or might want to consider before getting started. The first thing that you want to consider is what are you going to sell? What's going to be your merchandise? Is it going to be a candle? Is it going to be shirts? Is it going to be skincare? Is it going to be hair? What are you going to sell? You got to figure that out first. You got to figure out what you want to sell. That is the most important thing. Are you making it? Are you buying it in bulk? Is someone else going to have to do something to it? So, first things first. What are you going to sell? <laughs> the second thing that you want to think about is where are you going to get it from? If you're buying shirts, like for, my, for example, me, I have a merchandise business. I sell t-shirts. I sell apparel. I buy my shirts in bulk from two different wholesale shirt sites. So that is what I do and that is where I get my merchandise from. If you are selling something different, such as skincare, you have to think about bottles. Where are you going to get your bottles from? Where are you going to get all the, can you buy it in bulk? Is it available? So really think about where you're going to get these things from that you need and if they are selling it from a warehouse, how soon can they get it to you? If you are buying it from Etsy, how soon can that person get those things to you? So, what are you going to sell and then how can you acquire that and how easily and readily can it be acquired by you? The third thing that you want to think about is price. What is going to be your price? And if you're selling it online like me, you need to think about shipping and handling. You don't want to sell something that's going to be outrageous in price, but then at the same time, you don't want to undersell yourself. So, price can be... A complicated thing if you let it and if you're if you're customizing or hand making something then the price just went up because now it's your time energy and effort so price is a huge one that is definitely something you want to consider and then adding in and factoring in should be in handling as far as weight if it's a skincare product it's gonna have some weight to it if it's a big box a small box a mylar bag the shipping label how much that's going to cost you. So those are different things that you want to consider when pricing your materials. The next thing that you want to think about is outsourcing. And do you have a plan? So for me on my shirts, I send my shirts to somebody else to get them screen printed because I don't do that. That might be something or a skill I need to learn later on in the future when my shirt business becomes really, really big. But right now, I have somebody that does them. So me and her, we had to discuss a plan on how soon I can get them printed or how soon can she get them done when, we can, when they can come to me and I can get them from her and then me putting them in the mail to go ship. So if you're outsourcing, for example, if you have bottles or any type of packaging and you're not physically labeling them and putting your brand on them, if someone else is, you guys have to come up with that plan to figure out how soon you can get the product from point A to point B to point C. So if you're wanting to start a merchandise business, these are just a couple of things that I feel like you should think about, you should really consider and have down in the business plan that you've created for yourself. You need to have those things down. So you know what the plan is, what the goal is, how you're going about doing it. So then all you have to do is follow the plan. And if you haven't thought about these things, then I'm so happy I was here to plant the seed to give you something to think about and to consider. Make sure you're doing all the research that you need to do to get all the information that you need to find out what route and what path best suits you. Definitely, definitely think about these things. These are things I had to take into consideration, I think, long and hard, especially when it came to pricing. And... Yeah, so I'm gonna continue dropping gems and the different things that I have experienced and, and am experiencing as you guys are along on my journey to becoming a full-time business entrepreneur with different avenues and sources of income. So yeah, with that being said, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye y'all.